The worst part of owning animals is losing them. I think he's pretty happy with his new seat. There it goes. Wow! That's a yeah. lot. How about that? Did you ever think you'd be talking to a bunch of people on YouTube? Nope. You know, you see the light every once in a while and it gives you more hope, but... So a couple days ago, Stella, our milk cow, Dingo's mom, um, she fell. She fell over and her hips are so bad that she can't get back up. So um, it's not good because a cow that can't get up can't survive. So, um, we're keeping her comfortable right now. We got to get Jingo in the barn today so we can start feeding him out of a bottle. And, um, yeah. She's, she just, she can't stay like this, so. It just hurts my heart. She's been a really good cow. It hurts both of our feelings but the worst part of owning animals is losing them especially ones that you've gotten attached to so such a sweet girl been a good nurse cow she's been a good mama to a lot of babies and helped us a lot and we vowed to let her stay here until she um until she was done. So, that's where we're at. More hay down. He came back today and made this over here. He's gonna ted that over there again. <laughs> we're gonna be in some pretty big hay here shortly. I got to get in the pool with the kids for a little while. And then I got called to farm Uber duty again. What's Uber duty? Uber. Uber, like an Uber driver. And he bought a new seat for this tractor because this one hurts his, hurts, his, hurts his hip a lot. So we bought a new one today at the New Holland Place. So it's got to get put on. So, yeah. I'm not complaining though. I didn't get a little pool time and he hadn't had any. I hope you get some soon though. I think you're going to like it. Are you excited? Hmm. Mm. Let me get up here. The back. I can stand right here and get a hold of it better. Is that better? I don't know, that better. Good. <laughs> if you got a Ted in this open cab, you deserve a seat that doesn't hurt your bum. <laughs> it wasn't too big of a pain either. Oh, that was a pun. Gosh, I'm so good at them sometimes. It wasn't pain. It wasn't a pain to put in the new seat. You must be losing weight. I never did get it to 187, but Got plenty of spring in the bottom of there. You reckon you weighed less than 187? No. I don't think so either. It's <laughs> a nice thought, though. Ooh. All right. You want me to take your tools off? Yeah, lay them in the back. <laughs> Bring a grease gun on the rack. Oh, we got a grease. Always got a grease. Grease, grease, grease. Come here, Milwaukee.
It's so much different. <laughs> I'm so glad. That was an easy little. Then another hundred dollars that you ain't got. It makes it more worthwhile. Yeah, well. If it helps, it helps. Good luck. Right. I'd say I hope it doesn't rain on you, but we act, we need rain on these I beans. Need rain too, so I can't have both ways. I know. All right, love you. Love you. Bye. It's okay, I'll just stay here in the shade and go to sleep. <laughs> 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 I think he's pretty happy with his new seat. I'm happy for him. It's that big of a difference. <laughs> it's the little things, y'all. The little things that equal big things sometimes. My son hopped out of the pool when his dad got home with the hay cutter, or hay bine as we call it. So he could wash it off for him. And it's a job, isn't it, buddy? You've been working on this a while now. Doing good. <laughs> you be, ah! <laughs> you be ready for another dip in the pool when you get done? No? You're gonna be wet enough? <laughs> He's getting up under there good to get all that hay out, grass. Grass hay. <laughs> Saving daddy a lot of time. I appreciate it. So does he. It's a good day for a popsicle thingamajiggy. And for a dip in a pool. We've added another We've added another creature to the family. We've got Uni and uh, Flamingo. Flamingo. Y'all having fun yet? See? Um, yeah, my pool started turning green. Your pool. Our pool started turning green. <laughs> and I had to play chemist and y'all almost failed chemistry in college. I'm pretty sure they socially promoted me because they got tired of seeing me on the front row and in their offices every week. I just, I don't do chemistry, but anywho, I've shopped it and done some things and I'm gonna do some more things, but it's coming back. Anyway, we're gonna make it. I hear the tree cracking. It's all these trees falling around here. There it goes. Wow, that's a lot. How about that? Uh, <gasps> well, I didn't get that one on video this time, but I watched it. A big limb just fell. Luckily, I don't think it fell on any fence. Obviously, it's not storming or windy, but it was it was that limb's time to go. When it's when it's our time, it's our time. Anyway, all right, I'm heading to the crib. Okay. I got in the pool yesterday, y'all. Right. I washed my hair. I washed my hair today for church, and I don't feel like getting in the pool again. I'll do it tomorrow. Huh? Huh? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thank y'all. Yes. Like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Oh my goodness. They're like better at this than I am. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Happy summer. Do it or else. No, we're not going to be ugly about it. <laughs> we say please. Please, oh please. Please, I'm begging you. Please. And then we say thank you. And then we say thank you. Yeah, bye. Please. Right, go to your grip, bye. Please. Gosh, you are slightly dramatic. Whew. 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 Got a little bit of a mess this morning. Oh, like seriously, a little mud. Uh, hey girls, hey girls. Well, we survived the hurricane fine here. We, we didn't get any rain, I mean any wind at all. 
really to speak of. We got rain, I think, let's see, all together. In the last two days, it was a little over an inch. And then two days before, we got 1.7. So we've had two, about three inches of rain in the last week, but we needed it. So not complaining there. He is spraying them for flies. Yeah. Uh, so um, I know the eastern part of our state got hit, some parts got hit kind of bad with some tornadoes and some minor flooding and all these things that come along with a tropical storm and a hurricane. So prayers go out to our friends in eastern North Carolina. And um, I don't know, they're calling for a very active 2020 hurricane season. So this could just be the start of it all, I reckon. Hopefully, hopefully they're wrong. Come here, Jingo. Jingo is in the barn. It's taking a little bit to get him to eat. He won't drink, he wouldn't drink milk. We got him feed, he's eating feed. He's got a lot of water. He's not drinking enough water. I don't know. He drank that this bit. Oh, okay. We can't touch Jingo like we could Elmo because Jingo was with his mom for a couple months. You need to get in there and start touching him. You need to get in there and start touching him? Okay. That would be a great project for the children. Yeah. Well, at least he did eat. Yes. We're getting. It's getting. Getting better there. Okay. Shoo. We can see some little feet. He's eating, isn't he? Yeah. Good. And off to town we go. Because we both have vehicles with plates and inspections due. Actually, a little overdue. Oops. So, sometimes you just gotta stop and get the other things done that you have to get done <laughs> that are not farm related. Even though it kind of is farm related, I guess. Gotta pay for tax so we can run up and down the road. Uh, does anyone else struggle with doing this kind of stuff? This, this stuff we just have to do, we have to make time to do. Maybe it's just us. I'm not showing you yet. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, okay. Wait a minute. Yes, it's fine. He doesn't like me to ask him questions without me asking him, okay. telling him what he's going to answer off. first. <laughs> All right, table talk. I'm not going to embarrass you. You're not going to embarrass me. Watch and see. Okay. Well, I'm the one editing, so we'll see. <laughs> um, so we just finished supper and... Several of y'all, several of y'all seem to like table talk, so we're going to ask a few questions. Do you have any questions, Austin? Why farming? Why farming? Why do we farm? Oh. That's a big question. I was going with something less than that. Why do you farm, Mark? It's a disease, I think. It's a disease? <laughs> <laughs> something you can't get rid of. <laughs> We never really talked about farming. I want to do a whole thing about the farm story. We won't get all into that tonight. But how long have you been farming? All my life. Plus oh, other things. Plus other things. Yeah. We just had some good conversation at dinner about his railroad days. What did you do? I contracted for the railroad for about 16, 17 years. Doing track maintenance and farming too. Worked four days for them and three and a half for me. Mm. Why'd you quit? I got tired of sleeping in motels and running up and down the road. Yeah, I know that feeling too. <clears throat> not that much. Not as much as you did, but yeah. Um, let's see. One question people had, several people were asking, have asked about our hay situation. 
So where we stand right now for the year, we're sitting pretty good, right? No, we need to make, it depends on if the corn makes silage. If it makes silage, we need about 200 more rows. And we have what, 300? Yeah. All right, we have 300, we need and 200 more. If it don't make silage, we're gonna need 300 plus rows. All right, well, here's hoping we get silage. And we should, right? I mean, unless yeah. something catastrophic it happens. It depends on the rain and the temperature. Mm got to have rain you got to have the right temperature when she goes to pollinate and we're later than normal correct way later than normal so we're not going to be looking at like early september no you're going to be looking at august i mean uh, october cutting silage okay yeah that's different yeah it's usually august i don't know who this is it's usually august yeah it is it's usually august so yeah. that's different yeah. Mm. Uh, mid-August. She's usually like mid to week. late August. Yeah. Fourth week. Oh, okay. Well, it'll be cooler this year. Yeah, you won't be sweating. <laughs> You'll be sweating doing have all the... coat on back and silage. <laughs> back and silage with a coat instead of sweating. That's true. All right. I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. We're sitting okay with rain. We've had over three inches of rain. Recently, we're getting just got a little bit more, like some spitting. So, yeah, okay. People really like you and they want to see more of you, so I'm trying to get more of you. They want you to have your own channel. They want me to put a GoPro in your tractor and just set it there all day, but they don't understand how much just idle footage that would be or editing out not good words or something. I don't know. <laughs> you never say bad words. You never say bad words? <laughs> oh, good thing it's not lightning. <laughs> Anything you want to tell the masses? Tell the mattress. Not the mattress, the masses. <laughs> mm -hmm. the people, the people. People are listening. Mm. Any, any, what, I don't know. Any good word today? People that might be struggling. How do you, you, you have farmed for a very long time and you've been through a lot of good and you've been through more bad probably <laughs> some years. So why keep going? You know, you see the light every once in a while and it gives you more hope, but you know, you always thought that one day you, the American farmer would be feeding the whole world what he is, and he would get paid for it. But everybody else gets on the wholesale and retail end, and the farmer's not getting paid for it yet. Mm. And we produce more. It's less of us than it used to be, and we're producing more. And mm -hmm. still, we, we can't make a living at it. But yet, we feed the whole world, and we can't make a living at it. I just... You know, it's getting disheartened. So, I think we ought to go telling, writing joke books or <laughs> telling stories or something. Though. <laughs> well, you've got plenty of stories. I gotta get them down. I gotta get them down, all the Lawrence-isms. I don't know, I think there's still a way. There's still a way. We're finding a way. Sometimes you just have to find a new way. A different way. I'm looking for it right now. Well, you're kind of doing it right now, too. A different new way. Did you ever think you'd be talking to a bunch of people on YouTube? Nope. <laughs> when I was a kid, when I was seven years old, if you'd have told me when I got grown <laughs> that I'd be planting pine posts, a gallon of water would be $25, mm. And I'd have a phone in my pocket that I could talk to anybody around the world. I thought you come from Mars, you were crazy as you could be. <laughs> <clears throat> but mm. that's what we're doing now. So <clears throat> anything possible, you can sell the American public anything in the world if you advertise it right. Look at the man that come up with the pet rock. <laughs> if I'd have thought about that instead of working, I'd have been a billionaire. And y'all wouldn't even get to see me unless you just flew over... When I flew over in my jet plane, but I got plenty of round rocks. 
Yeah, we do. We well, I knew it was a box to put them in. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's probably good enough for one night. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How was supper? Good. I had ribs. They yelled at me last time when I showed cooking ribs because I only gave you one rib. <laughs> Are you full? Yeah. Because, see, the thing is, he didn't just eat his ribs. He ended up eating Austin's ribs. Because <laughs> she didn't finish them. All right. Until like, next time. I don't eat like a sawmill hen no more. No, you don't eat like a sawmill hen. That's the thing. I eat more than you do, don't I? Yep. <laughs> I do. I do. And this one's starting to eat more and more. Growing boy. If he doesn't stop growing, we're going to run out of roof. <laughs> Want to say anything, Leslie? <laughs> he talks a lot like his dad. <laughs> All right. There you have it, table talk. <laughs> All right, until next time. Farm hard, live well. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Check out our store. We've got new stuff. I just added some more stuff today. And I ran out of some stuff, but I've reordered it. So, anywho, we really appreciate your support. Continually amazed. Sit here, right here at this kitchen table last week, at least two different times, and cried. I did. He didn't cry, but I cried. Just thinking about it all. I'm going to start crying again. Really. Really appreciate you.